Hi guys, it's Matt here from Max on UK and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to use an HDRI map to light a scene. So an HDRI stands for High Dynamic Range Image. Uh, dynamic range being the sort of amount of measure of brightness there is in any particular image and it allows that information to light your scene using global illumination. So let's just get ourselves something to actually use. So let's get a car in at the moment. Let's get a nice shiny car. Okay, you can see that at the moment it's um, got a sort of reflection on it there. And this is a, a fake reflection. It's just using a, a standard image. And if you were to do just a render on its own, it's going to be very dark, very bland, um, except for the nice shiny red seats. You can't really see anything in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, some of Cinema 4D's inbuilt HDRI maps. Now there are a variety of different HDRI maps and they're in the content browser and they are in each of the different versions as well depending on which version you have. Um, so to start with we create ourselves a sky object and that sky object is this simple spherical thing. And then let's have a look in the content browser for an HDRI map. Now there are loads of different HDRIs. And if I just go into this one, which is if I have a look in the prime presets lighting setups HDRI, there are a few that we can choose from. So I'm just going to double click and I'm going to use this one, which is a photo studio. And then I'm going to apply it to the background, which you can see then eventually changes. And if we have a little look around, you know, you can see that we've got what looks like, you know, soft boxes and lights and things like that and a camera. And this is where our lighting will come from. Now, I'm not going to turn anything on yet. I'm just going to do some render because I want you to see that the reflections change. So this HDRI map changes the reflections depending on what it is that you know your object is surrounded by with the HDRI image. Um, and you can use that to your advantage, you can use that to light, you can use that to give decent reflections as well depending on what you want. And you can see that the HDRI is visible in the background. If you don't want it to be visible in the background then you can add a compositing tag and then you can untick scene by camera and if I render again you can see that it still has the same reflections in there so the car is um, utilizing the reflections being produced by the HDRI map but it is not actually being visible. Now in order to use the lighting from an HDRI then we need to go to our settings and we need to turn on my favorite of course global illumination. Okay now if I turn that off and now if I render, it will take a little bit of time, but we will see that it is being lit by the HDRI. So where there is lots of brightness, say from example those lights, that will create a lot of brightness, a lot of light, and that is where our scene should be being lit from. It creates some nice realistic looking lighting without having to do too much work mucking around with different lights and settings and intensities. So let's just see how this goes. I might speed this up a sec for you. Okay, there we go. You can see that that looks quite nicely lit. You can see the reflections from here. And as you saw me do earlier, you can rotate the HDRI. You may need to just remember that you want to see it seen by camera again so that you can rotate around. So for example, if you wanted to sort of go that way, so maybe we've got the, the back of the car Again, just turn that on and then you could do a render and you can see the difference that it makes again I'll speed this up so you can see it changes you know depending on what angles you have everything uh, what if you fancy a different HDRI map or so simply have a look at your content browser and see what you can find there let's have about a nice sort of sunny beachside um, riverside and then I'm just going to replace that image there let's uh, see it by camera again so we can see what we've got and then maybe let's move this around, you know, depending on how and where you want it to be lit from. If I move my camera around, you can see that we've got some nice sun sort of light coming up from the top left there, and it's a bit darker that side. So again, you know, it's your sort of choice as to how you want it to look. Um, I'll just do a quick render. Okay, cool. And you can see the difference that that makes 
to sort of like the lighting and the effect and certainly with the reflections and the nice sort of diffuse that we've got there from the blue skies. Well I hope that was a useful tutorial for you about lighting using an HDRI map and I will catch you next time. <laughs>